All right, we're going to do a little rate of change with calculus. So this first problem is about a forest fire that's expanding in a circle pattern. So the outside, the, this whole circle is burning up with fire, and the radius is 155 miles. And then they tell you in the problem that the radius is expanding so that's the rate of change. This is the symbol for rate of change, dr over dt. So radius over time is 50 miles per hour. So it's it's expanding 50 miles every hour. All right, and then the question is, what is dA over dt? Meaning, what is the area rate of change? How is the area expanding when the radius is expanding at that rate? So you just have to use the basic formula of area, which is A equals pi R squared. And then you take the derivative. So the derivative of a variable A is just going to be 1, and then you're going to be left with dA over dt. So right there is what we want to solve for. So that works out nice. And then over here, pi is really 3.14. So this is 2 times 3.14, but instead of writing 6.28, I'm just going to leave it 2 pi. You're left with R when you do the power rule. And then you took the derivative of R, so you're left with dr over dt. And now we're just going to substitute it into this formula, which radius R is 155 and dr dt is 50. And when you multiply these four numbers together with your calculator, 2 times pi times 155 times 50, you get this big crazy number. And that's the area, well, that's the rate of change of the area when the radius is 155. All right. Next problem is going to be about people traveling in different directions. The one person is traveling north and the other person is traveling west. And when you're traveling due north, east, south, and west, the distance between you is going to make a right triangle. So we're going to have Pythagorean theorem here. So they want to, they tell you some things in this problem. They tell you once this person traveling north has gone four miles and this person traveling west has gone two and a half miles, not only how far apart are they, but what's their rate of change in the distance? So first we need to know how far apart they are, and that's what this is, the 4.717 miles. That's just Pythagorean theorem. 4 squared is 16, 2.5 squared is 6.25. You add those together, take the square root, and you get 4.717. So that's how far apart they are at that moment. And at that moment, the problem also gives you these rates of traveling. So in the A direction, which was the person that was 4 miles north, they were going 12, I think it was miles, I don't know what the unit was, but let's say miles per hour. And then in the west direction, this person was going 8 miles per hour. So now we have to take the derivative of just the Pythagorean theorem right here. So we take the derivative of all these variables. Two, a squared becomes 2a, and whenever you take the derivative of a variable, you got to do the dA over dt thing. So these are 2b and 2c. And really, we the question is asking, what is dc over dt? What is the rate of change between these two people when they're four and two and a half miles into their journey? So now we just have to divide 2c to the other side. And I've already substituted in the numbers here. So dA, a was... 4, 2 times 4 is 8, and the rate of change in that direction was 12, so that's where the 8 times 12 comes from. 2 and a half times 2, that's the 5, the rate of change in that direction was 8, and then the DC, oh, that's this right here, okay, so this, the 2C, is our denominator. So we divided 2c to the other side to get dc over dt by itself. And c was 4717. And when you multiply that by 2, 
you get 9434. So if you do this math, 96 plus 40, divide that by 9.434, you get 14.42. So they're changing at a rate of 14.42 miles per hour, whatever the units were. I think they were miles per hour in that one. It could have been feet per second. doesn't really matter. The answer is 14.42. Okay, last one. This is going to be about a baseball game on the old diamond here. So on this baseball diamond, the bases are 90 feet apart. And there's, there's this runner that's right here at the end of the dotted line. They're 70 feet away from third base, that corner, at the time of this problem. So this is another Pythagorean theorem problem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we're going to take the derivative of this just like we did on the last one but notice my a is gone it's because a is a constant it's 90 feet in this problem this runner is going from here to here so the 70 is shrinking and this c value the hypotenuse is also shrinking but in the a side 90 that's not changing and when you take the constant or when you take the derivative of a constant it just turns into zero so the a squared goes away when we take the derivative. We could just turn a squared into 8,100 right away. We could substitute in 90 for this, and 90 squared is 8,100. And then when we do the derivative, the derivative of the constant 8,100 is 0. So it's gone. All right, and now, again, we're trying to solve for dc over dt, kind of like the last one. So we're going to divide 2c to the other side. So that's where this comes from, to get dc over t by itself. How do I get the 140? Well, that's the 2 times b, and b was 70. And how do I get the 30? That was given to you in the problem. In the problem, it tells you that the runner is going 30 feet per second. That's how fast they're running. All right, so how do I get this 22804 number? Well we got to double the C distance. we got to do Pythagorean theorem to figure out what C is right here. And that's what this is down here. So I just did Pythagorean theorem down here with 70 squared and 90 squared. Gives you these two numbers. You add them together. You take the square root. And you get 114.02. And our denominator is twice that. So that's where the 228 comes from. And when you divide, which... I didn't write the answer down here. So let me check on my handy dandy little calculator real quick. 4200 divided by 228.04. And that is 18.42. So you end up with 18.42 in this one. 18.42 is. The distance, the rate of change of the distance from home plate to the runner. So if the catcher down here at home plate wants to try throw him out, I guess he can calculate that in his head real fast, which is not never going to happen. But regardless, that's the rate of change of C. It's 18.42 feet per second or whatever the unit was. So there you go. On these rate of change problems with calculus, you got to get some kind of formula first. So a couple of these were Pythagorean theorem. The other one was the area of a circle. And then you just do the derivative, substitute in the numbers that they give you, and make sure you use a calculator because these numbers are crazy.